टू वेरिएबल्स से एक्शन कर वाई डिपेंड्स ऑन एक्स एंड कनेक्टेड बाय ए प्रॉपर वर्किंग ग्रुप देन वी से दैट y is function of x if y depends on x this x is called independent variable Whereas y is called dependent variable. And connected by a proper working group. You can give name working group. Yeah. So in the case of the circle, my f is equal to pi r square. It is f is just nothing but a symbol for proper working group, or I can say a symbol for a proper mathematical formula. That's simple, very simple. So I can say my x. Is a transforming into y with the help of the working group. Yeah. In this case, we say that y is a function of x. Y is a function of x denoted by y is equal to the box. I'm using a particular word again and again. That is proper working group. proper working rule when do you say that a working rule is a proper working rule in this situation it is helpful to think of a function as a mission look here let us have a mission here mission it takes x and it delivers y so i can take x as the input whereas y as output in between some working rule will be there some a or f is equal to you have pi r square so here pi r square or pi x square the mission pi x square takes x it will do some process and give the output then mission but here every working rule is not a proper working rule when do you say that this mission is working properly i'll take you one example see you know grinding mission right it to do it grinds the food grains and delivers the flour okay now for example is a grinding machine now for example x1 and x2 are two different food grains automatically it has to give two different flours okay so in this case we say that the machine is working 
properly. For example, for example, in my house I have a grinding machine. It's a very special grinding machine. This. When I put a food grain X one in the morning, it gives Y one flour, food grain powder. The evening, if I give same X one, it gives different flour. in the morning same mission in the morning for one type of food grain it's giving y1 as powder in the evening it's giving different is it possible that means here we have x1 one value it gives two different is it possible no right so we say that this is not a properly working rule it's not working properly it is not proper working rule it can't be like this or we can have like this we can have x1 x2 they both can have deliver same output it can for example weight mission weight mission two different persons can have same weight it is working properly okay now i have another weight mission weight mission x1 is input i got y1 as the output when i give x2 as input it is not delivering the output that means it is not working for x2 so it's also not allowed we say that it is also not working properly that means here when do you say a machine is working properly it has to accept every number and to each x value it has to produce unique y value then we say that the machine is working properly and that proper working rule represents a function now you let me give me let me give the proper definition for a function let the independent variable function definition let the independent variable variable x defined by a set and all dependent variables defined by a set capital y are subset of y to each x belongs to capital x there exist unique y belongs to y such that y is equal to f of x then f is called function from x 
to y and denoted by f some colon x arrow mark y how we can read read as f maps x to y here my f is mapping the elements of x to elements of y that's why we read f maps x to y or i can say one more what is the meaning of to each x belongs to x there exists a unique y belongs to y that means look here suppose i have this is capital x and this is capital y and this is f is relation i have two elements x1 and x2 for example x1 and x2 it is delivering y1 y2 it is possible now here another example i say this is x this is y this is x i do one thing i write x1 x1 two times for this x1 i'll get y1 for this x1 i get y2 that means even though these two elements are equal their outputs are not equal <clears throat> that means please observe carefully very very important definition for numericals that means for all for all x1 comma x2 belongs to capital x for all x1 comma x2 belongs to capital x x1 is equal to x2 the both are same then definitely their outputs also must be same then f is called function from capital x to y please take down now different different authors in different different textbooks they introduce different literature about this function x function f now let me explain now we know that now f maps x to y is a function now when you put x value it is becoming y with respect to the working rule x and this y is equal to f of x now this x is called that loan with the number 1 it have it can be called as independent variable okay or it can be called input or it can be entry all are same independent variable input entry all are same whereas the y of course dependent variable whereas output argument all are same words okay now important concept is in most of the functions are real functions most of the functions are real functions so what is the meaning of that very simple i have function number 1 f maps x to y is a function listen carefully number 
if x is subset of real number set x is subset of real number set then f is called real variable function this is definition one definition two if my y subset of r that means my y the set of outputs r subset of outputs my set of outputs is subset of real number set then f is called real valued function my values are real and the last one see if x is subset of y as well as y is also subset of my x if x is subset of real number set and my y is also subset of real number set then f is called called real function very very important now in our course we are going to deal with real functions only that means set of inputs subset of real number set set of outputs also subset of real number set please take it three important words number one domain number two codomain number three range of a function function let f maps x to y is a function then number one the set x is called domain i will explain you by taking an examples let me write the script and whereas this b this y is called the set y called codomain whereas c the set of outputs set of outputs say set of outputs is called range let me explain let me explain for example i have function f x to y let this x have elements x1 x2 x3 x4 whereas here this is y1 y2 y3 and y4 of course we have y5 also my x1 and x2 both are going to y1 x3 is going to y2 and x4 is going to y3 now here every element of x is used that means this working rule is accepting all these values as inputs and it is every input have unique output that's also okay but here some elements in y are left out the total entire set is called codomain whatever elements are used this y1 y2 y3 this set 
is called range. So here domain is capital X is equal to X1, X2, X3, X4. Whereas codomain, I have Y is equal to Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. Whereas range, whatever elements are used are simply I can say set of outputs Y1, Y2, Y3, this is called range. Now, our next concept is about a domain. I am going to focus more on the concept domain. Okay. Now, please take it. I am going to explain to you what exactly domain, how we can find. Let us map x to y is a function where real function. That means my x and y subset of real number set. I take one example. The working rule let y is equal to f of x is equal to 1 over x. Now here in the place of x substituting x is equal to 0 is not possible or I can say my 1 over x won't accept 0 as an input. Therefore, for this working rule, the possible set of inputs, I can say except all the real numbers except 0. Right? Then this is called domain of this working rule. So, here domain is equal to is equal to real number set minus 0. Let me take one more example. Let y is equal to, I have f of x is equal to tan x. Now you know very well the tan will become infinite when x is equal to odd multiples of pi by 2. That means here I cannot take x is not odd multiples of pi by 2. That means this function accepts all the real numbers except x such that x is equal to 2n plus 1 times of pi by 2 where n belongs to integer set. So finally what I want to say the domain means acceptable subset of real number set for that working rule. So, domain means what? Domain means the acceptable subset. of real number set for the given working rule of a function. Yeah, please take it. In the next video, I am going to explain how to find a domain of a function.